Hello, hello, hello. Y'all, my name is Kawana Brickhouse. And guess what? I have a mission here on this earth, and that is to elevate, inspire, and create. That is to elevate you to that next level so that you are inspired to create your own world. That is my mission, y'all. That is my mandate here on this earth. And I realized the day was just about almost over. It's, I mean, it's only around, I believe, nine something. I think. I hope it is not even later than that. But the whole point was, I, I really felt like I could not um, go throughout the day without uploading a video to inspire you all. The other video that I wanted to upload, I'm not quite finished with that one. Um, it's an actual project that I've been working on. So you all will see that one tomorrow. But the word for today is transition, okay? Transition, transition. Okay, transition, the definition of transition from Google, right? The noun transition is the process or a period of changing from one state or condition to another, right? Verb, the verb uh, transition means to undergo or cause to undergo a process or period of transition. Now, why am I talking about transition? You know what? Because I believe personally that there's a lot of people that are going through transitions right now in life. You're going through either a transition or you're about to go through a transition or you've already come out of a transition and you're in a new place, right? You're going through a process. Hey, we do that throughout life. We go from season to season, from glory to glory, from, from level to level. That's We should be constantly growing. We should be constantly transitioning from one place to the next. Am I right? Can I get an amen? Amen corner over there. <laughs> but look, so I just wanted to talk to you all about transition and the importance of when you're going through a transition, it may seem it may seem um rough. It may seem uh like you're overwhelmed with a lot of stuff. You know, you could be tra transitioning from one job to the next. You could be transitioning from leaving a uh the corporate world into your own business. You could be transitioning of running a business but adding an um a second job to what you do. Uh, you could be just transitioning from an apartment into a home. You could be transitioning from a home into an apartment. You could be transitioning from being married to divorce, being a single woman again. Oh gosh, I remember those days. Woo, y'all. It was like cultural shock to be married almost 10 years. And from being married 10 years, uh, committed to one person in a home and children and this culture that I lived in to bam, put back out into the real world again where it was a whole bunch of stuff going on. A whole bunch of stuff. And I was like, what? Say what? Say what? Say what? You know, how many can y'all raise your hand and, and, and say that you went through that, that form of a transition? Look, okay. The point of what I'm, what, what are you trying to say, Kawana? I just want you to know that no matter what transition you're going through, whether you're moving from um, one state to a new state, right? Whether you are, I mean, literally like state, not like state of being, I'm talking about state. Like you're either, you're leaving Virginia and you're moving to New York. You're leaving Virginia and you're moving to uh, North Carolina. You're leaving Virginia and you're moving to Florida or you're leaving Florida and you're moving to California. Everybody on this earth, we go through transitions, right? Okay. The key to surviving the key to uh sailing into your new transition is trusting the process meaning trusting god that he got you knowing that what look there's a scripture that i want to take you to joshua 1 and 9 one of my favorite scriptures if you don't know because you you could be tuning in and this could be your first time hearing me Joshua 1 and 9, y'all, is my favorite verse. I actually have a bracelet that I wear that says Joshua 1 and 9, be strong and courageous. But I'm going to go ahead and read it to you right now. It says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God 
is with you wherever you go. That means if you're in a transition, going from one place to one, to the next, guess what? God is with you, okay? He got your back. Matter of fact, he, will, he picking you up and he going to take you over the threshold, okay? He's going to take you over that valley. He's going to take you up that mountain. He's going to go with you when you slide down that mountain. Guess what? God got you. Joshua 1 and 9, be of good courage. Be strong and courageous. And then I want to take you to another verse. And this is Hebrews 11 verse 1. And it reads, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Faith is what the assurance, the assurance your assurance, you know, you pay an assurance. I, I, shoot, I pay some insurance on a monthly basis. Do I, who, who out here paying for insurance? Well, look, if you got God, He give you this thing called faith that will, that's your assurance, right? So that things that you hope for, things that through your transition that you're hoping that will, that will work smoothly, that will flow the way it needs to flow. He's letting you know you got it. It's going to be all right. It says the conviction of things not seen. Look, you may not see how everything is going to pan out, how everything's going to fall into place. You know, God may have told you, look, this is your husband or, 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 or I want you to start praying for your spouse or, and I want you to start praying for your wife or I want you to pray for your child. No, no matter what you see, I want you to, I want you to pray I, I want you to pray for that that degree. I want you to pray and I want then I want you to start making the steps. I want you to start saving your money because there's certain things that I want you to do. Okay, okay, you don't understand it. Okay, you might can't see it, but daughter, son, I need you to what? Have faith. No matter what you see. I need you to have faith. It says faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen. You might can't see it, but guess what? If you got hope and you got faith in your daddy, he going to work it out. He is going to work it out for you. Trust me. So look, you be encouraged. You be blessed. Have an amazing evening. I didn't mean to keep you long with it. I'm trying to do better, you know, because I can do my little yappy yap. But I love you all. I pray that you have a blessed night, okay? Share this video with someone else. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I ask that you push that little red button so that you can uh, keep continuing to receive messages from me. Um, you can also push the little bell so that you can, it, it'll, when, when one uploads, it'll bing you and let you know that I just uploaded a new video. But most of all, look, I appreciate you taking the time out to listen to me this evening. And I pray that you have an awesome, amazing night. Blessings to you.